since this is my last big event as president of NHFRW, um, I would just like to take the opportunity to um, tell you what a blessing you have all been to me over the past few years. Um, I am, I am um, so thankful for my board, uh, my club presidents, and all the members of the Federation who have worked tirelessly at, um, for, for our common cause. And I thank you also for your, your patience with me and your kindness. Um, that you've shown me over the past years. There's definitely a learning curve to this job. So I thank you very much um, for, for all that you've done for me. And as I hand the baton over to Jen, I, I just hope that she will enjoy it as much as I have. Um, Jen, there you are. <laughs> but I just, I just want to leave you with a couple of thoughts today. You know, I am thankful to be a Republican. You know, I am disappointed in those who, who would have us compromise our convictions. But I am so grateful for my fellow Republicans who are standing strong on their beliefs, um, both, both here in New Hampshire and in D.C. Uh, you know, we must not always judge a party by its members. We have to judge it by its platform. And we, um, as Republicans, have a great platform. You know, it supports our Constitution. It supports Judeo-Christian principles. It supports morality and truth. Um, and isn't it, I, when I go walking, I walk every day. And I think, I think, I think, I think. And I sometimes laugh to myself. I think it's so hysterical that the left, and even some in our own party, call us, call us, conservatives or authentic Republicans. They call us right-wing extremists. <laughs> you know, we just believe, we just believe in traditional American founding principles. They're the ones that have moved, not us. Um, so I was laughing to myself the other day uh, about the fact they call us the right. Well, <laughs> we are. <laughs> right? But but I was also thinking about the word right. And you're gonna think this is really silly, so I hope you'll indulge me. But but the word right, you know what it rhymes with so many great words that kind of um, describe where we are today. Um, and by the way, left rhymes with theft. So <laughs> So, at any rate, let me just tell you, so please, please uh, hear me here. Right rhymes with bright light. You know, Republican values, American values of life, life, liberty, freedom of religion, limited government, and personal responsibility, and the opportunity to be the best that we can be. It shines like a bright light for the world to see. You know, we have a great country, and that's why so many want, people want to come here. And that's why so many people envy us. You know, it sometimes has negative ramifications, but they do envy us um, because we have a bright light in our, in our founding principles. Right also rhymes with light, with um, fight. Now, I'm not saying with violence or with unwholesome words, anger, um, but we must fight for the hearts and minds of the American people. You know, we need to articulate clearly that what we believe is truly good for America and for them. We must tell them that we are, as Karen said, a nation under God, a nation blessed by God. And we must turn back to him and care about what he cares about if, we're continue, if we are to continue to be blessed by him. Um, do you know where God stands on the issues? It is a fascinating study if you ever want to do one. It's very interesting. Well, right finally rhymes with might. God's might, not ours. Not ours. There is a surpassing greatness of power and courage that he gives to those who trust him. Did you ever wonder why folks um, who seem to stand strong on the issues when they're running um, turn tail and run when their job or their name is threatened. You ever wonder why? All I can say is if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. That's right. All right? So when, when we fear the Lord, when we fear Him and trust Him, He gives us strength to stand no matter what. So 
I, I'm a Christian. I've never hidden the fact. Um, and I've been very honest with what I believe the whole time I've been here and what I believe we must do to turn our country around. Um, and I'm sure that there are some of you who may not agree with me and believe as I do, and that's okay. But, you know, quite frankly, I, I don't know what the future holds for our great country. I don't. Um, but, I, but I do know that God holds mine. My destiny is secure in Him. Um, and so, I hope that over the past few years, the past couple of years, that you've seen just a little bit of Jesus in me. I, I want you to know that Jesus is wonderful. He is everything to me, and I am so imperfect. Um, but I know I need him for every step of the way. Uh, in closing, I would like to read something, and it's very powerful. Um, I did not write it, but it is my goal. Um, it's what I'm reaching for. I haven't gotten there yet. I stumble every day. But um, my prayer is that, the, that it would also someday become the cry of your heart as well. And it's called the Fellowship of the Unashamed. I am part of the Fellowship of the Unashamed. I have his Holy Spirit within. The die has been cast. The decision has been made. I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. I won't look back, slow down, back up, or be still. My past is redeemed. My present, present makes sense. And my future is secure. I am finished and done with low living, sight walking, small planning, smooth knees, colorless dreams, tame visions, mundane talking, chintzy giving, and dwarfed goals. I no longer need preeminence, prosperity, position, promotion, or popularity. I don't have to be right, first, tops, recognized, praised, regarded, or rewarded. I now live by his presence. Lean by faith, love by patience, lift by prayer, and labor by his power. My pace is set. My gate is fast. My goal is heaven. My road is narrow, and my way is rough. My companions few. My guide reliable. My mission is clear. I cannot be bought, compromised, deterred, lured away, turned back, deluded. I will not flinch in the face of sacrifice hesitate in the presence of adversity, negotiate at the table of the enemy, ponder at the pool of popularity or meander in the maze of mediocrity. I won't give up, back up, let up or shut up until I have preached, prayed, paid, stored up and stood firm and unwavering for the cause of Christ. I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. I must go until he returns, give until I'm spent, preach until all know and work until he comes and when he comes to get his own he will have no trouble recognizing me for my colors will be clear as, as we labor together um, as Republicans and when the world seems like it's spinning out of control and makes absolutely no sense Please don't forget the one, the one who has blessed us and made our country great. Jane, I am going to have you come up and lead us in our induction ceremony. And thank you again, and may God shed his grace on you and on our great country. Thank you very much. Cook TV.